this is inner space uh not the old martin short movie from the 80s uh this is a different thing this is a kind of fantastical sci-fi flying game that's set in kind of a dyson sphere not, not really a dyson sphere but it's it's set in a world that is inverted where um you know gravity uh pulls you outwards to the outer shell of the planet and uh and so you're sort of flying around the inner side of a sphere so the world is curved in an interesting way that you don't really see in a lot of games um so yes i'm going to resume my adventure um you can tell it's a very arty game by the fact that they decided to have a completely square uh like aspect ratio which is pretty unusual occasionally you'll get a movie that does that too um and it you can tell that it is a extremely um pretentious movie if it makes a choice like that okay so you i am this little flying drone i'm actually a robot i'm, a, I'm an ai drone I gotta remember how to fly again i actually spent a while messing with the controls to try to get them exactly the way my brain wanted them to be it's hard to sort of predict what is going to feel natural to your brain um, and so I, I, I tried about three different iterations of the controls before I got it the way that my brain wanted it to be so you're collecting this resource called wind these little pickups that I'm collecting are wind uh, that it's basically just the name of the mystical energy that um, the former inhabitants of this place used to use so this is like a fallen civilization like a fallen precursor civilization um, they lived for generations in this world, um, built all of these edifices and things, but then their civilization started dying, and they tried to escape, and they built all of these things that should have allowed them to escape. But they didn't get away in time, and they all died. And so now, one of their distant descendants, like one of the few surviving uh, people, I guess, from the society, who calls himself the archaeologist, um, he has built or restored me as a tool to help him explore this place and try to find a way out. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I can notice these uh, these cracks mean that I can blast through that surface. It's a very peaceful game. There isn't any combat. There's no shooting or anything like that. You're flying around collecting things and eventually trying to solve some puzzles. Like right now I'm just sort of getting the lay of the land and trying to um, figure out where I am. So. You learn in the first level that there's certain things you can interact with. Like these cords, you can cut these by hitting them with your wing. And I love it. They stretch like like violin strings as they're uh, as you're breaking them, which just feels really good. So they take some precise flying, which I, you know, am incapable of doing. And also, it's always this game does a good job of illustrating the fact that it's really hard to gauge scale in a third-person 3D game. Like, you're, you're looking over your own shoulder, and, like, I think that I'm in a position to hit all of a set of strings like that, but sometimes I'll just fly between most of them because I wasn't actually as close to them as I thought. Like, there, I thought I was going to hit all three of those, but I was only in a position to hit one of them. that time I got all three so who knows so I think I'm cutting loose these big suspended boulders did I get everything I think I maybe I got everything I don't know let's fly further away and then look back <laughs> so Montparnasse Club has noticed that uh, that I'm using my nighttime voice yeah it's because my children are trying to sleep right now and uh, when I stream at night they sometimes complain that I, they can't sleep because all they can do is hear me talk. So I'm hoping that's not the case right now. I'm hoping my kids are actually making progress towards sleep. Okay, so let's go talk to the archaeologist and find out what we're actually here to do. <laughs> okay, so let's talk to the guy. Cartographer, always be on the lookout for relics. Beyond that, we must scour the inverse for, they call this place the inverse instead of the universe, uh, for evidence of the final gate and the means to power it. 
There's plenty to be found here in the sun chamber, but I'm sure some answers await elsewhere. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Eh, nope, that's it. Good luck. Okay, so I'm just looking around for relics right now. Um, and for just little puzzles to solve. Oh, these yellow things. I think these are relics. Let's grab a couple of them. So you'll try to grab multiple pieces of a relic, and, and eventually, once you get all the pieces of that particular relic, um, you'll see what it is and get some clues about the lives of the people that used to live here. Death Crow says that it's, it's, it's uh, 3 a.m. where he is and he needs to get some sleep. I completely understand. I should probably be sleeping too. I have work in the morning. Oh, hey, look. So this game is very much, uh, it plays very much into my sort of squirrel mentality. Like, anytime I see a little pickup in the distance, I have to go after it. I saw some other pickups over here. But yeah, pe people are mentioning how trippy this game is, and it is really trippy because you can see I've got water above me and below me. This doesn't work like a usual world. I'm inside a sphere instead of being on the outside of one. Okay, so I got 477 wind. Once I hit cross 500, I think I can probably unlock a new skin for my little bird drone thing, so that will be fun. Oh, oh, come on. I don't think you can die in this game, so I don't know. I think just crashing just makes you feel inadequate, and so that's why you avoid it, not because it's actually going to hurt you. But who knows? Maybe you actually can die, and I just haven't done it yet. So I'm trying to pull back on my throttle to uh, make it easier to navigate. But yeah, like, they've chosen a really, really wide field of view. So the world, the whole world looks kind of like, like, even if it wasn't the inside of a sphere, it would still look like you're seeing it through a fisheye lens. But then because it is an, a, an inverted sphere, or like the inside of a sphere, it's just, oh, it's crazy. Okay, so I see this yellow ring over here, so I feel like that might be important. So I'm just gonna, oh wait, squirrel. Bull Prime says that this game is relaxing, yeah, and I agree. What was that? I don't know, whatever it is, I wanna chase it. I want to chase it. This is, wow, this is even more like a squirrel than the other things are. So I'm going as fast as I can. Is this going to lead me somewhere, or am I actually supposed to catch up to it? Is it going to go in the water? Oh, by the way, you can go in the water. What? This thing just started glowing. Am I going to need to chase a lot of things down here to make these? Or do I just... Okay, yeah, so I can't just fly into any route I want. That's good to know. So I'm down here in this root system now. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing exactly. Whoa, what was that? What? Interesting. So Death Crow says this world feels very cramped and it's hard to tell which way is up. So here's the problem. In this world, there is no up. No way is up. Or I guess up maybe is towards the center. Instead of, yeah, instead of up being outwards, up is inwards. And so there is no traditional sense of up. Oh, 
hope nobody's getting seasick, by the way. What the? Was not expecting that. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing there. Oh. I can go through these vertebrae? What? What? Okay. Wow, that was very tight. Have I already opened this? Okay, nope. Don't want to do that. Alright, so... Yeah, so this is an exploration game. I mean, you basically fly around trying to figure out what you're doing. Um, and they kind of, you know, they, they give you a way to get around that feels... It's just sort of pleasurable in and of itself, you know? It's just it's kind of just fun to fly around like this. And then, just at your own pace, you kind of figure out what's going on. Find as many things to interact with as you can. Like, what's this thing over here? It's got a bunch of sparkles coming off it? I don't know. Okay, what was that? I like how they used the collectible that I've been chasing this whole time to mark a thing I needed to collide with that was unfamiliar. I'd never seen a bar like that with a bunch of particles coming off it before. Oh, now there's another one. Okay, so now I understand those bars are things I need to fly into. But I wouldn't have gotten that if they hadn't first put a collectible on one. So you see how they're taking the things that I'm already familiar with and using them to teach me about the things that I'm not familiar with. Okay, I guess I did something. get everything there. Let's back up. Whoa. Oh, wait, what's this? Okay, so when you get into one of these spheres, you can kind of, like, aim yourself and, like, launch yourself whatever direction you want to go. Okay, now where do I want to aim myself? That's where I came from, right? Or is it? Or what, what's this? Or that's what's holding me in place. Um, I mean, I think this is where I came from, but it's the only interesting way. Oh, no, it's not where I came from. Ow! Ow! Nope, nope, nope. I had no idea what I was doing. Okay, I got stuck in that thing, and I had to bounce around to get out. And that changed something? Okay, it extended some kind of laser gun? Okay, so there's something highly visible in the world. That's good, because I was nervous about not being able to find whatever this was. So it looks like it's powering something that I can now interact with? Death Girl points out, by the way, that when I'm hitting a lot of these collectibles and stuff, there's a musical aspect to them that sort of, it makes it really kind of satisfying to keep following them. Okay, well, let's, um, head out again. Ow, nope, nope. I just... Okay, well, that looked like it was the kind of fractured glass that I could bust through, but I guess not. How do I get out of here? Uh, 
Well, that looks like it's back the way I came. Um, ah, well, it might be my only option. Okay. Out. Is this the way I need to go? Sure. Okay, so I just came out of that. Is there a different way to go? Maybe this way? Wait, oh, out, oh, nope, nope, nope. All right, I'm doing a terrible job of this. Okay, okay, I got out, I got out. And now we're pointed at this thing. Oh, wait, oh, this is one of the big gates. Have I already done everything I need to do in here? And we're at the loading screen, where, by the way, you can control gravity. And now we're at the Morn Sea. So that was the Sun Chamber. Now we're at the Morn Sea. So you see, I was a little confused the whole time I was doing that. Didn't really understand the meaning of what I was doing, but I was still able to do it. And it was still, you know, fun and trippy to just be flying around in this world. So, you know, that's kind of what I like about this game. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. So I will wrap up this video. That is inner space. And uh, it just, it feels almost like it's just, it's an art project. It's, a, um, it's a, an interactive painting, you know? And uh, yeah, it's really interesting.